We had the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2013 in Ukraine, in the heart of Kiev, at the Palace of Ukraine. And with me is the, one of the hosts of the contest, and this is Timur. <laughs> you, 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 I try, I try. It's Miros Nishenko. Something like that. Yeah, in Ukraine, like it sounds like Miros Nishenko. Perfect. <laughs> you, you is, is perfect in this. Uh, Timo, uh, for you, it's the second time you're hosting the junior contest, right? As the host of the international final, yes. Okay. Uh, the first was in 2009 mm -hmm. with Ani Lorak, this time with Zlata Ognevich. <laughs> so who is easier to work with, Ani or Zlata? I can't say this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, um, you know, uh, Ani Lorak is a big star in Ukraine. She was, uh, in 2009, also a big star before the contest, before the Eurovision, before the adult Eurovision in 2008. She was a big star, really big star. Zlata is, um, we can say, young artist. Uh, on stage, she is only for three or four years, and um, she, she, don't have, uh, she doesn't have a, a big star in her, uh, her head. <laughs> so. Not, not, a, not a big star in her head, however, she had a big giant on the stage in Malmö. Is yeah. he here too? Yeah, sure. We, uh, we've been there with uh, Zlata, with uh, her team. We, we, we were the part of the Zlata's mm -hmm. team. So, and you know, that, uh, that time on, on May this year, uh, it was um, a really great time because uh, maybe it was the toughest work with Zlata's team. Because on Adult Eurovision, I'm working uh, since 2006. So it was my eighth Eurovision, adult Eurovision. So I can say that uh, uh, Zlata's team was the best team mm -hmm. as a Ukrainian delegation. You have this fantastic deep voice like a radio, radio announcer. Are you working on radio here? Um, no, I'm working on television. <laughs> so what type of shows do you do? Uh, you know, except Eurovision, adult, junior, dance Eurovision. Um, I host, in, uh, host uh, a lot of... Uh, uh, beauty contests in Ukraine. A lot of uh, I have uh, my um, my own program on First National Channel. Also, it called uh, it calls how it is Some, mm -hmm. something like Discovery Channel, <laughs> the Ukrainian Discovery, you know. And uh, uh, since uh, maybe two months before, I started to work as a news host on one of the cha on channel one one two Ukraine. <laughs> so, so what what is your, for you uh, personal liking? What you prefer more to do? Which which type of shows you like? The music shows or science shows or these live events like Junior? Uh, live events for sure is the most uh, exciting moments in, in life. But uh, when I started start to work on television, it was two two thousand five. Uh, I started with uh, live transmissions, live shows. Mm -hmm. So uh, as for me, it's my ocean, you know, <laughs> and. Um, of course, uh, I think uh, the most exciting moment is to, sh to host some musical events, uh, some big events like this festival, like, uh, you know, some concerts on the squares, open airs, something like that. But also, I, I um, understand that uh, television have to uh, teach something uh, for juniors, for adults, and also. So uh, we decided to do this program, how it is, uh, in which um, we show people how something uh, going on, uh, how some, you know, for example, uh, Olympic stadiums for the Euro 2012 final, mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, uh, in, a recon in a reconstruction for three years. Uh, we filmed uh, all the processes uh, for one year, and uh, next day after the opening, the official opening of the stadium, we showed how it was, how they built it. Okay, like a making off, basically. Yeah, Fantastic. Like, uh, like Junior Eurovision Song Contest, you've, you're now doing it a second time as a host, mm -hmm. and how do you perceive this? How do you receive it from the kids? Are they really happy to do this? Or you think they are forced to be on the stage? No, absolutely. They, they are lucky one because um, they are the winners of national selection. So uh, this year, they absolutely, definitely uh, the best young artists in their country. And it uh, doesn't matter which place we, they will uh, receive in the final on Saturday. They are absolutely uh, big stars uh, for our whole Europe, not only for their countries. So I think uh, they have a great opportunity to grow in a big stars, uh, adult stars. Uh, so they have to, you know, they have to um, maybe uh, receive all uh, experience, all, uh, uh, I don't know, all this time. They have to uh, um, calculate all their, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, improve, basically. Yeah, yeah so uh, uh, 
it's something like um, the first step uh, for the big stage. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, if this stage is like the stage of uh, Palace of Arts Ukraine, uh, I think they, they have a big future. So Fantastic. All, all, uh, everything is in uh, their hands. Fantastic. Timo, I, I, we can ch chat on and on. I've got many questions, but there's the Georgian delegation waiting to come in this room. Thank you very much for chatting with us. All the best of luck to the hosting of the contest. Thank you. Uh, will you be hosting the Eurovision Song Contest when Ukraine takes it? I hope so. It's my dream. You know, uh, now maybe I uh, come in for the history as uh, the only host who hosted uh, Junior Eurovision twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want to be the only host who hosted and Junior and Adult also. So it's my dream. I hope so. <laughs> so perfect Eurovision host, Timo. All the best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. Good show.